while some industries are struggling to find workers, there's one that's working hard in bringing in more employees, especially female employees. Oh, you're going to love this story. The roofing business is welcoming women to join its ranks. And our very own Stephanie Ramos takes a closer look at those making their mark as shingle ladies. On a hot roof in the heart of Texas, the roofer chicks are hard at work. It looks good. They are one of the few all-women roofing crews in the country, and they are busting barriers in an industry that's been dominated by men for years. I got into it by following my big brother around. He decided to start a roofing crew in the summer, and then we had a roof that was really scary, and the customer was um, intimidating, and all the guys were afraid to get on the roof. And so I said that I'd get on the roof and then just one thing led to another. That experience led Amy to start Roofer Chicks. Now this company may have a catchy name and a fun online video. The best ally to make sure that you will stay dry call Roofer Chicks. But for these women, roofing is a serious business and they believe being an all-female company has some advantages. Women in general have very good customer service skills and they have a lot of respect being in somebody else's home and working on somebody else's home. So at, on the inspections after, you could see all the, the little details, like the seams lined up perfectly here. It's stuff that I think we notice uh, as women that men can sometimes just get it up there, get it done, and, and be done. So what does it take to become a roofer chick or just a roofer at all? To find out, I visited a GAF Roofing Academy class in Parsippany, New Jersey. Good morning, ladies. Here, these women learn the basics, along with my personal concern, how not to fall off that roof. As you walk, like the, the roof heats up. Lead instructor, Kimberly Santiago. She's the only female teacher at the academy. I was just sitting at a desk designing courses for graduate students. And so I got a side gig in roofing. And one day I was just like, you know what? I want to change this up. And I quit that very same day. And and most of my friends, my family especially, were like, are you crazy? Because I have four degrees. Obviously, it's a male-dominated field. But what's that been like for you, which is kind of, you know, being in the middle of, of a male-dominated industry? I do receive a little bit of hesitancy and maybe some kind of pushback with students. And then they see me in action and they're impressed. Honestly, I was thinking about being an artist, but just being here is like a total <laughs> switch. Like me actually being on a roof, I can actually handle tools myself. It's actually, it just feels good. I'm actually glad to have this opportunity because of course, um, in the future, I plan on building homes for not only my own family, but a lot of other people. And obviously can't build a home without a roof. I decided to try it for myself. I think my lashes are too long for these glasses. The very first nail is gonna be about an inch and a half in. There we go. Great, that was perfect. Great teacher. I definitely learned a few things from these ladies. And once they join the workforce, they'll be part of an elite group. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, one in 10 construction workers is a woman. But while women hold a variety of construction jobs, only 3% are roofers. Yet for those who do climb into this industry, the median salary is around $48,000 a year. And in some areas of the country, top roofers can even earn six figures. Though for those like Amy, the rewards are about more than just money. I love being up high. I love being on top of the world and being able to see everything. And I love showing other women that they can do this. And it's awesome to be a part of and to be able to show people that. Hey, that's what it's about. Yes, Bravo. girl power. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks to Stephanie for that report. And one thing about the roofing business, there are no formal education requirements to enter the field. And right now, there's such a high demand for roofers across the country, so so many jobs are available. And that is good news right there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.